The yacht Courageous, the two-time America's, America's Cup winner, was the focus today of Bunker Hill festivities at the Charlestown Navy Yard. The yacht donated to the children of Boston will be the centerpiece of a new sailing center at the Navy Yard. As Charlestown commemorates the battle and the revolution that produced a new nation, residents of the town are also grappling with a neighborhood economic revolution, a yuppie influx, and the disappearance of blue collars in Charlestown. Marcus Jones has our story. They celebrated Bunker Hill Day in Charlestown this morning, the annual remembrance of a 212-year-old battle that was actually fought on Breed's Hill. At Bunker Hill, they gathered reinforcements. But the colonists were courageous no matter where they fought, and it's no coincidence that Mayor Flynn chose this day to welcome the yacht Courageous to Boston, the two-time America's Cup winner that will be permanently berthed at the Navy Yard as the cornerstone of a new sailing program for Boston youngsters. And this isn't just a sailing program. This is a, the development for the future navigators of this city and this country. This is a day we're supposed to commemorate one of the early battles of the American Revolution. But in Charlestown, there's a new revolution going on, and it's not being fought with swords and muskets. Today's weapons are drills and paintbrushes, and the opposing armies are carpenters, developers, and young professionals pitted against the townies who've been here most of their lives and now have mixed feelings about the changes. There's a change. Every place is changing, housing and everything, and different people moving in. But it's still the same town. There's a lot, a lot been going on about the yuppies moving in and everything, and about Tony staying here. Right. But I really don't have much to say about it. I'd rather just keep my mouth shut. They're trying to make the town nice, and I am all for it. But I do think there are certain people that are still, you know, don't want to see changes. Some may see the installation of this famous yacht at the Charlestown Navy Yard on Bunker Hill Day as another sign of the times, a sign of upscale changes in the people and the real estate, changes that have incited rebellion among some townies. Last March, the windows of a gourmet food store were smashed after this article appeared in the Boston Globe. In the article, shop owners were depicted as catering to young affluent professionals. The people young townies fear may soon displace them, and older ones credit for improving the neighborhood. I mean, I like the changes. I think it's good for the town, it's good for the economy. I have an older sister who's married with three children, and she couldn't afford a house here, so she had to move out to Lawrence. It's going to improve. Everything is coming our way. I mean, it's, it's come for the best. It would be very easy for these changes to inundate the community and change its character, very much so. And I'm not saying that's good, and I'm not saying it's bad. Please, I'm neutral. In this turf struggle, money is the ammunition. The wealthy are investing it. The working class are trying to hold on to what they've got. At this point, nothing is sacred, not even the high school. The building where anti-busing forces once rallied is also going condo. But for townies, there is pride in being the underdog, like the American colonists. Some might even say that's what Bunker Hill Day is all about. For the 10 o'clock news, I'm Marcus Jones.